Welcome to Movie Shortens. Today we will be covering the 1986 movie, The Fly, a remake of the classic original. Let's see what this adaptation will bring. Before we start, be aware, there are spoilers. As we are introduced to the film, we see a group of people in a gathering. Seth is attempting to explain to Veronica what exactly he is working on in his studies. He invites her back to his lab, but he is coolly denied as Veronica walks away. Seth follows trying to convince her otherwise, goading her to interview him and not anyone else. We then are swiftly shown Veronica driving Seth to his apartment, and as they make conversation, we find Seth has had motion sickness from a young age. They both enter Seth's apartment, and Seth begins to play the piano quite well, if I may add. Veronica expresses a bit of regret going to Seth's apartment, to which Seth smoothly states that she has to stay. To Seth, Veronica has already seen his experiments, in which she makes some jokes about them. He then reveals another machine that he built, Seth demonstrates the nature of his machines as Veronica looks on. Her stocking is then transported from one of Seth's machines to another, verifying his successful teleportation. She is doubtful but is convinced by the proof of his demonstration. She questions how he put it all together, but he essentially says he isn't the smart one. He just puts it all together off of other people's smarts or money. He finds out she is a journalist and demands that she hand over her recordings, also demanding she not write anything about what she has seen. She leaves showing the tape to her boss who thinks it's a joke and dismisses the entire idea. Seth follows Veronica and confronts her at work. She tells him that her boss thinks he is lying, to which Seth is relieved. Seth invites Veronica to lunch where he explains that despite how much he wants to talk about what he is doing, his work is just not ready yet, and something important is missing from his experiments. He reveals that he can only teleport non-living things. Veronica is still not convinced and she shouldn't release the story, to which Seth convinces her to follow him and his work, giving her not just a story, but a bigger one, possibly even a book. She agrees, though not in words, and we see her arriving at her home. She hears the shower running and confronts her ex-boyfriend, Stathis. He insists that she wants him to come back and live with her, while she states she's just too lazy to change the locks. He makes some bad jokes on Seth, thinking him as her new boyfriend. Veronica denies, stating that she may not even use him as a journalism topic. Stathis expresses his doubt, but gives her the go-ahead to pursue the topic. He then leaves, and we are next brought to Seth, conducting another experiment with a living being, a baboon, and Veronica records the experiment. Seth uses the baboon for the experiment, which fails with the primate's gruesome death. Veronica records Seth's frustrations and his theory that his device can only work with inanimate objects, nothing that is alive. He states that he doesn't know enough about the flesh and dedicates himself to learning more. She tries to further the interview, but Seth becomes even more frustrated walking off, ending the interview. Later in the evening, Seth and Veronica get closer, Veronica expressing her attraction to Seth as she then spends a the night with him. Veronica pulls out a microchip from Seth's back, commenting about the hair she finds on his back. This leads to an idea and an experiment from Seth, who teleports a piece of meat. He feeds it to Veronica who complains it tastes bad. Seth claims that the computer is not translating the steak correctly and attempts to correct the error. He goes to fix the computer and Veronica leaves Seth's apartment but is followed by her ex, Stathis. She sees him at a shop and he accuses her of staying with Seth. An argument ensues and Veronica states that they are over as a couple and she can do what she wants. Stathis then leaves Veronica's apartment. Later in time, Seth tries to teleport another baboon and is eventually successful. Seth and Veronica celebrate and Veronica suggests a vacation for the two of them. This is interrupted by Veronica discovering Stathis sending a fake article cover to Seth and Veronica leaves to Seth's irritation. Veronica confronts Stathis and he attempts to take over her story on Seth. He negotiates a position of confidence with Veronica and she reluctantly agrees. We next see Seth drinking and going over Veronica's hidden relationship with Stathis. He is not happy about it and tries to go over the dialogue with himself and Veronica. He then takes it upon himself to put himself in the teleportation device, not knowing that a fly has entered the chamber as well and changes the experiment. He exits unharmed for the moment and Veronica comes back to Seth's apartment. He tells her he successfully teleported and then shortly after, he confronts her about her relationship with Stathis. Veronica assures Seth that he doesn't need to be jealous and that she is committed to Seth and their relationship. Then they have some fun. The next day, Seth is woken up by a fly and he catches it. He leaves the bed and is followed by Veronica who wakes up sometime after Seth. She sees him testing his physical limits and doing some impressive exercises. He has markedly improved physical capabilities doing multiple exercises that he was previously incapable of. We next see a new day in a market where they both are shopping. They then have some coffee as Seth explains his theory of why he has improved physically after the teleportation. 
She notes his sugar intake as he continues to explain his theories on teleportation. He ignores her points, continuing to follow up on his current theories. We come to another passionate moment from Seth and Veronica, and she notices some hairs on his back. He dismisses it and tries to get Veronica to teleport as well. She denies and he insults her, claiming that she is scared and is getting in the way of progress. Veronica claims that something went wrong when he teleported, to which he continues to insult her, and that he needs to find someone new to keep up with him and his experiments. He leaves her in his apartment and goes out into the city. Seth enters a bar and starts talking to a woman. Seth then bets two men arm wrestling that he can beat either man, and he beats Mark, one of them, breaking his wrist and still leaving with the woman he initially talked to. He then takes the woman and leaves the bar and spends some more time at different bars, then goes back to Seth's apartment. He carries her up to his apartment and he shows her his teleportation device. They spend the night together, and the next morning, Seth tries to get her to go through the teleportation device. Seth tries to force the woman to go through the device when he is stopped by Veronica. The woman leaves and Veronica says that Seth is changing and that it's not a good change at all. She had the hairs on his back examined and came to find that they weren't human. He further argues that they were in fact human hairs. Seth then yells that Veronica must be jealous and that she is attempting to bring him down, punching through a wall as alleged proof. He then forces her to leave his apartment, leaving her in the hallway. Veronica leaves crying as Seth shaves his disfigured face in the mirror. Peeling a fingernail off, he realizes that indeed something is amiss. He peels off another fingernail, astonished. Shortly after, he looks into the initial teleportation process and comes to find out that a fly had teleported with him, causing the change. The computer states that the fly had assimilated with Seth at a molecular level. We then see Veronica at work, and soon she receives a call from Seth. He tells her she is right about his changes and invites her over to his apartment. She comes and arrives to see him horribly disfigured. He goes on to explain that a fly had affected his first teleportation, and that being the cause of his changes. Veronica tries to be optimistic and states that there must be something they can do to change Seth's current affliction, but he denies these suggestions, stating that there are positive changes and that this isn't something that should be changed. She watches as parts of his body fall off, and he pleads for her to help. Veronica goes to Stathis for advice, and he tells her simply not to go back to Seth, and to leave him be. She tries to protest that she should help Seth. Stathis again denies it. Stathis suggests that Veronica show him Seth's current status, and let him see Seth's actual condition, and that he may think about doing something upon seeing what the situation actually is, not just Veronica's word. Veronica goes back to Seth's apartment and sees him climbing on the ceiling. He comes down showing off his newfound powers. He then goes on to explain that his current problems have a purpose to change him into something else, and that there is a positive benefit to his plight. He then has a record the way he has to eat foods, Veronica then showing this to Stathis to his horror. Veronica comes back in tears and tells Stathis she is pregnant with Seth's child. Veronica and Stathis go out and get Veronica checked out, and she goes to have an abortion, and to everyone's shock and horror, she gives birth to an immense fly larvae. It turns out Veronica just wakes up from this horrific dream, terrified and alone. Seth attempts to fix his mutation, but is stopped by his voice changing. His teeth also break off as he inspects the changes. Veronica appears and tells him she wants to tell Seth something, and Seth says she can't see him ever again. He claims that he was an insect who dreamed he was a man, and that the insect has taken over, that he will hurt her if she stays. Veronica walks away in tears, and wants to abort Seth's baby with Stathis. She tries to have it done immediately, but Stathis claims he may not be able to have it done right away. They leave, but don't realize Seth is watching from above. Veronica and Stathis explain to the doctor their reasons for wanting the abortion. The doctor expresses doubts, but Veronica is adamant about having the procedure done. Seth suddenly breaks through the hospital window and takes Veronica away. He asks her not to have the abortion, and Veronica protests that she can't. Stathis enters Seth's apartment and opens up a gun case ready to kill Seth. He activates the telepods but is attacked by Seth and has his limbs digested. Veronica stops Seth from killing Stathis and Seth asks her to help him be human. Seth explains how she can help him achieve his human form again, himself, Veronica, and their child. Seth claims they will be the ultimate family, but Veronica resists and ends up physically harming Seth, who then morphs into an actual fly. Stathis wakes up as Seth puts Veronica into the teleportation device, stands up and shoots the device, disabling it. Seth tries to escape but is unable to and is teleported as a half-dead monster fly. Veronica takes the gun from Stathis and Seth, who was in his bug form, moves for her to kill him. She does so crying as she mourns his passing. Like and subscribe to watch more videos like this and don't forget to turn on your notifications. That really helps my channel.
Thanks for watching.